Have you ever felt overwhelmed by your thoughts? Have you ever regretted something you did or said, or worried about something that might happen in the future? Have you ever felt angry, sad, or anxious because of what someone else did or said? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then you are not alone. Many people struggle with the problem of thinking too much and how it affects their happiness and well-being. But what if I told you that there is a way to overcome this problem and that it has been around for more than 2,000 years? What if I told you that there is a philosophy of life that can teach you how to control your thoughts, emotions, and actions, and how to live a good and meaningful life? This philosophy is called Stoicism. Stoicism is not a religion, nor a dogma, nor a set of rules. It is a way of living, a way of thinking, and a way of being. It is a practical and rational philosophy that can help us face the challenges and difficulties of life and achieve happiness and peace of mind. In this video, I will share with you eight ways how thinking too much will destroy your life and how Stoicism can help you overcome this problem. These are not my own opinions, but the teachings of the ancient Stoics, such as Seneca, Epictetus, and Marcus Aurelius, who were some of the most influential and wise people in history. I hope that by listening to their words, you will find some inspiration and guidance for your own life. Number one, thinking too much will make you unhappy. One of the main causes of unhappiness is thinking too much about things that are not in our power, such as the past, the future, or the opinions and actions of other people. The Stoics called these things indifferent, meaning that they are neither good nor bad in themselves, but only have value as material for our virtue or vice. For example, wealth, health, fame, and pleasure are indifferent because they can be used for good or evil, depending on how we use them. The same goes for poverty, sickness, obscurity, and pain. The Stoics believed that the only thing that is truly good is virtue, which is the excellence of our rational nature, and the only thing that is truly bad is vice, which is the corruption of our rational nature. The Stoics taught that we should not attach ourselves to indifferent things, nor depend on them for our happiness, because they are not in our control, and they can change or be taken away from us at any moment. Instead, we should focus on what is in our control, which is our own thoughts, judgments, and actions, and use them in accordance with reason and nature. By doing this, we can achieve a state of mind that the Stoics called eudaimonia, which means a well-lived life or human flourishing. Eudaimonia is not a feeling of pleasure or satisfaction, but a state of being in harmony with ourselves, with others, and with the universe. The Stoics also taught that we should not let our emotions get the better of us, because they are often based on false or irrational judgments about indifferent things. The Stoics distinguished between passions and feelings. Passions are destructive emotions, such as anger, fear, grief, and envy, that disturb our peace of mind and lead us to act against reason and nature. Feelings are natural and healthy emotions, such as joy, caution, pity, and affection, that do not interfere with our reason and nature, but rather support them. The Stoics did not advocate suppressing or eliminating our emotions, but rather transforming our passions into feelings by changing our judgments and perspectives on indifferent things. For example, instead of being angry at someone who wronged us, we can pity them for their ignorance and vice. And instead of fearing something that might happen in the future, we can be cautious and prepared for whatever may come. By following these Stoic principles, we can free ourselves from the tyranny of thinking too much about indifferent things and cultivate a calm and rational mind that is not disturbed by external events, but rather responds to them with wisdom and virtue. As Seneca said, the happy man is not he who seems thus to others, but who seems thus to himself. He is happy, I say, if he is sound and his mind is healthy, if he is satisfied with his own character, if he counts wisdom the only good, if he has learned to despise all the things which the common herd admires, if he is calm and tranquil, if he is free from fear and desire, if he is not at the mercy of fortune, but has placed himself above her power. Number two, thinking too much will make you waste your time. Another problem of thinking too much is that it will make you waste your time, which is the most precious and limited resource that you have. The Stoics believe that time is a gift from nature, 
and that we should use it wisely and productively for the pursuit of virtue and the benefit of ourselves and others. The Stoics also believe that we should live in the present moment and not dwell on the past or worry about the future, because the present is the only time that we have and the only time that we can act. The Stoics taught that we should not waste our time on trivial or vain things such as entertainment, gossip, or fame, because they do not contribute to our eudaimonia and they distract us from what is truly important and meaningful in life. Instead, we should spend our time on learning, improving, and practicing our philosophy, because this is the way to achieve wisdom and virtue, which are the only true goods. The Stoics also taught that we should not procrastinate or delay our actions, but rather act promptly and decisively, according to our reason and nature, because we do not know how much time we have left and we may not get another chance. By following these Stoic principles, we can make the best use of our time and not let it slip away from us or be taken away from us by indifferent things. As Seneca said, it is not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. Life is long enough and a sufficiently generous amount has been given to us for the highest achievements if it were all well invested. But when it is wasted in heedless luxury and spent on no good activity, we are forced at last by death's final constraint to realize that it has passed away before we knew it was passing. So it is. We are not given a short life, but we make it short, and we are not ill-supplied but wasteful of it. Life is long if you know how to use it. Number three, thinking too much will make you miss the opportunities. A third consequence of thinking too much is that it will make you miss the opportunities that life offers you and that you can use for your own growth and development. The Stoics believed that everything that happens in the universe is governed by a rational and providential order that they called Logos, or fate. The Stoics also believed that everything that happens to us, whether good or bad, is an opportunity to exercise and demonstrate our virtue, and to learn and improve ourselves. The Stoics called these opportunities Kairos, which means the right moment, or the opportune occasion. The Stoics taught that we should not hesitate or doubt when we encounter a kairos, but rather seize it and make the most of it, according to our reason and nature. The Stoics also taught that we should not complain or resent when we face a challenge or a difficulty, but rather embrace it and use it as a test and a training for our character and resilience. The Stoics also taught that we should not be afraid or ashamed to try new things or to change our opinions or actions if we discover a better way or a higher truth because this is the sign of a wise and flexible mind. By following these Stoic principles, we can take advantage of the opportunities that life presents us and not let them pass us by or be wasted by our ignorance or vice. As Epictetus said, do not seek for things to happen the way you want them to. Rather, wish that what happens happen the way it happens, then you will be happy. Number four, thinking too much will make you lose your freedom. A fourth drawback of thinking too much is that it will make you lose your freedom, which is the most valuable and essential thing that you have. The Stoics believed that freedom is not a matter of external conditions, such as political or social status, but a matter of internal state such as rationality. The Stoics also believed that freedom is not a matter of doing whatever we want or having whatever we desire, but a matter of acting according to our reason and nature and being content with what we have and what we are. The Stoics also believe that freedom is not a matter of avoiding or escaping from the troubles and hardships of life, but a matter of facing and overcoming them with courage and dignity. The Stoics taught that we should not be enslaved or oppressed by our thoughts, but rather master and control them, and use them in accordance with our reason and nature. The Stoics also taught that we should not be dependent or addicted to indifferent things such as wealth, pleasure, or fame, but rather be independent and self-sufficient and use them in moderation and with wisdom. The Stoics also taught that we should not be afraid or anxious about the things that are not in our power, such as the past, the future, or the opinions and actions of others, but rather be brave and calm and accept them with equanimity and serenity. By following these Stoic principles, we can achieve and preserve our freedom and not let it be lost or destroyed by our thoughts. As Epictetus said, no man is free 
who is not master of himself. Number 5. Thinking too much will make you miss the beauty of life. A fifth disadvantage of thinking too much is that it will make you miss the beauty of life, which is the source of joy and gratitude. The Stoics believed that the universe is a living and rational being, that they called God or nature, and that everything that exists is a part of it and has a purpose and a role to play in it. The Stoics also believed that the universe is governed by a perfect and benevolent order that they called providence or fate, and that everything that happens is for the best and for the benefit of the whole. The Stoics also believed that the universe is full of wonders and marvels that reveal the wisdom and power of the divine reason and that we should admire and appreciate them. The Stoics taught that we should not be distracted or disturbed by our thoughts, but rather observe and contemplate the beauty of life and the harmony of nature. The Stoics also taught that we should not take anything for granted, but rather be thankful and grateful for everything that we have and everything that we experience, because they are gifts from the universe and expressions of its goodness. The Stoics also taught that we should not be attached or greedy for more, but rather be content and satisfied with what we have and what we are, because they are enough and they are in accordance with our nature. By following these Stoic principles, we can enjoy and celebrate the beauty of life and not let it pass us by or be spoiled by our thoughts. As Marcus Aurelius said, when you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. Number six, thinking too much will make you forget your purpose. A sixth consequence of thinking too much is that it will make you forget your purpose, which is the reason why you exist and what you should do. The Stoics believe that everyone has a purpose in life and that it is the same for everyone to live according to reason and nature and to fulfill their role as a rational and social being. The Stoics also believe that everyone has a specific function and a unique contribution to make according to their talents and circumstances and that they should discover and pursue them. The Stoics also believed that everyone has a duty and a responsibility to themselves, to others, and to the universe, and that they should perform them with excellence and integrity. The Stoics taught that we should not be distracted or confused by our thoughts, but rather focus and align them with our purpose. The Stoics also taught that we should not be discouraged or defeated by our thoughts, but rather motivate and inspire them with our purpose. The Stoics also taught that we should not be divided or conflicted by our thoughts, but rather unify and harmonize them with our purpose. By following these Stoic principles, we can remember and realize our purpose and not let it be forgotten or neglected by our thoughts. As Seneca said, it is not because things are difficult that we do not dare. It is because we do not dare that they are difficult. Number seven, thinking too much will make you lose yourself. A seventh and final drawback of thinking too much is that it will make you lose yourself, which is the essence of who you are and what you value. The Stoics believed that the self is not the body, nor the mind, nor the thoughts, but the soul, which is the rational and immortal part of us that is derived from the divine reason, and that is the source of our virtue and happiness. The Stoics also believed that the self is not the ego, nor the personality, nor the identity, but the character, which is the sum of our choices and actions that reflect our reason and nature and that determine our destiny and reputation. The Stoics also believed that the self is not the individual, nor the group, nor the society, but the human, which is the member of the universal community that shares a common nature and a common reason, and that has a common interest and a common good. The Stoics taught that we should not be deceived or corrupted by our thoughts, but rather know and improve ourselves and live in accordance with our soul, our character, and our humanity. The Stoics also taught that we should not be enslaved or oppressed by our thoughts, but rather free, and empower ourselves and act in accordance with our reason, our nature, and our virtue. The Stoics also taught that we should not be isolated or alienated by our thoughts, but rather connect and cooperate with others and live in harmony with our fellow humans and with the universe. By following these Stoic principles, we can find and preserve ourself and not let it be lost or destroyed by our thoughts. As Marcus Aurelius said, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality 
of your thoughts. In this video, we have learned how thinking too much can destroy our life and how Stoicism can help us overcome this problem. We have seen how the ancient Stoics taught us to focus on what is in our control and accept what is not, to practice virtue and avoid vice, to use our reason and follow our nature, to live in the present and make the best use of our time, to seize the opportunities and face the challenges, to observe and appreciate the beauty of life and be grateful for everything, to question and challenge our thoughts and gain a clear perspective, to align and motivate our thoughts with our purpose and fulfill our role, to master and control our thoughts and achieve our freedom, and to know and improve ourselves and find ourselves. By following these Stoic principles, we can live a good and meaningful life, a life that is in harmony with ourselves, with others, and with the universe, a life that is not disturbed by external events, but rather responds to them with wisdom and virtue, a life that is not enslaved by our thoughts, but rather uses them as tools for our happiness and well-being. This is the Stoic way of living, a way of living that has been proven and tested by some of the greatest minds and souls in history, a way of living that is still relevant and applicable today, a way of living that can transform and elevate our life and make us the best version of ourselves. I hope that this video has inspired and enlightened you and that you will give Stoicism a try or at least learn more about it. If you are interested, you can find many resources and books on Stoicism online, or you can check out some of the links that I have provided in the description below. Thank you for watching and remember, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts.